The mustache of the Turkish man, the mustache, which is seen as a political symbol today, hanging from the lips called the crescent mustache to the chin, is the mustache used by our ancestors. The mustache of the Turkish man was worth his hand and arm at that time. According to the information available until today, the person with the longest mustache was more advantageous than others. Turkish woman, unlike the other nations, the Turkish woman used to shoot arrows, ride horses and swing swords. Our women would fight as well as our men. The Chinese gentlemen who came to the Gokturk state would be astonished when they saw the horse riding and arrow shooting of Turkish women. The Turkish woman had a tough character. They laughed rarely. I would like to add that the Turkish woman was not in the secondary plan or slave position as in other nations. The woman was of great value. Pointing to his wife while Genghis Khan was in a community, the statement of, I am your Han, this is my Han. The symbol of the Turk Bozkurt. Bozkurt is a noble animal that is seen as a political symbol today but symbolizes Turkishness. This animal, which our ancestors saw as sacred, is also known as Gok Kurt. The sacredness of Bozkurt or Gok Kurt is based on the Turiyas epic. Epic, one of the great Hun Khans had two daughters. Both of their daughters were beautiful. It was so beautiful that the Huns believed that these two girls could only marry the gods, and said that these girls were not created for people, and the same way he looked for ways to keep his girls away from people because he thought the same way. He built a very high tower in the northernmost tip of his country, in a place with little or no human foot. He closed both of the girls to this castle. Then he began to plead with his god, which he believed in mind. He was pleading with such a pleading and calling his god with such clamorings that one day, finally, he could not bear the god that Hakan believed in his mind and came in the shape of a bozkurt. He married the sons of Hun Hakan, and many children were born from this marriage, these were called Nine Ogas Ten Uyghurs, and the voice of all these children resembled the sound of bozkurt, again, these children reproduced with the spirit of bozkurt.